Oh, you changed your name again. No, 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 that is my name. I can't keep up with... Hello. Uh, I can't keep up with your name changes. It's already bad on the TS channel. Alright, Maz, so what's going on this game? Well, we have Millennium Revolution. They lost to the NXV a little earlier. SG Primal, I think, played a lot of their games yesterday. They hopefully are going to be vying for second if NXV don't uh, push them out the way. Right. Um, Grimstroke Lich, is that pretty standard bans? Nothing, nothing new. Get rid of the combo. Get rid of that combo. Uh, just annoying. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, Lifestealer, is that also pretty standard? Nothing new there? Yeah, mag, mag, bye bye, get out of here. Get out of here! Drop dead Cheerio. bum. So those are the bans. Uh, I don't think they indicate too much about what the teams are going for. This is all just pretty standard sh stuff. <laughs> okay. And it's been as uh, a flex pick. I suppose it could be a support, it could be an offlane, probably not, or could be a carry. You know, you know how many times I have to say flex pick in a night, dude. With this new meta Yo. and the new way, like these heroes are changing and morphing these days. Is flex pick literally once a draft, dude? Maz, you should rename it to something else. Like what? The new... I don't know, you have to put a personal twist on it. And then can I add it to like... The Maz... And then can I add like it to twerking in the dictionary or something? Can I like add it to Wikipedia Maybe. after this? Or liquid twist possible? Is it? Uh, fuck. I've got a... Ooh. My kitten... Get out of here! Anyway, so Dazzle picked up... Oh, Dazzle into Lion as well, so I do like the Hex and Earth Spike coming out from the Lion. He's not like the best lane supporter in the world, but uh, he's good later on. He does kind of, I suppose, with uh, enough fingers that he gets off, um, he can transition okay into mid game. I don't know, Sizzle, if you can agree there. Um, yeah, Lion, if you fall behind, he's quite a difficult hero to catch up. Like, I don't know, to play from behind. Radiant Positioning with this hero is very key, and when your team's behind, often positioning gets more tough, so he just becomes literally a walking ulti at some stages of the game, if he fall, falls behind. Ah, uh, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hell, if the guy has like plus 150 damage, you talk about this walking ulti, but that's 150 damage he's going to put out, which is huge. Ten Granted seconds. how many yeah, ultis he can kill with, so... Chaos Knight. I do like this pick. Um, we've seen a lot of like kind of Sven support in a Chaos Knight. We've seen a position for Chaos Knight earlier in the week as well. Um, both. They, they, <laughs> SG Primal ran that uh, Chaos Knight in really, I think, the other day, yesterday. Yeah, so I do like it. I mean, they both have reliable stuns. Um, we know this Chaos Knight maybe doesn't get easily countered. It does depend who they've Ten banned. So it can be like Ursa, Medusa, which Primal haven't banned for themselves. So we're going to see if Millennium Revolution picks up on this. Um, <coughs> Lifestealer did get banned, which is pretty nice. He does well against guys like the PL. So I could assume Chaos Knight also gets hurt by a Phantom Lancer. I mean, not a Phantom Lancer, Lifestealer. Radiant team. Um, actually, I think it goes the other way. I think Life Stealer, Life Stealer gets child by Chaos Knight. The vision. Cat, stop biting me. Yeah, that's a busy cat. And well, there we go. There's a Phantom Lancer getting banned out with a Timber Saw. So, few illusion heroes. <coughs> Timber Saw is good against Chaos Knight because you can child down the illusions pretty fast. This will be death. Um, <coughs> yeah, the Millennium Revolution getting rid of the the PL and then picking up the Brewmaster, which is another illusion hero counter. It's odd that they banned the PL um, and then picked the Brew, um, since the Brew would have done pretty nicely against the PL too. But I guess it's just super annoying to deal with. Yeah. I do, I do like this brew pickup because he can kind of uh, mess with the cast knight just a bit. So I like it. I mean, maybe if you're watching the stream, you picked up on that. So good for you. 
Razor, right? So he's static link on who right now? Just the brew, I guess? Uh, to the brew, it's a good lane counter. And I think they just like this draft. I'm sure they ran Razor, Kale's Knight, uh, Spin, Combo. Yeah, I think Primal are sticking um, to their could guns be a right mid now. Ten seconds yeah, it could be a mid hero. It could be, it's probably their safe lane carry up against the brew. Um, so far, SG Primal are coming out with the better lanes, it seems. But we'll see what happens next. They're probably going to pick up a carry hero now. Dire team pick. Slark. Yeah, Slark. Did they ban the Bloodseeker? Uh, Bloodseeker's still in the pool. Ooh, immediate counter? No, Pugna, Pugna. right. And they're going with the Pugna. We saw how devastating. Yep, absolutely devastating the Pugna gets. Decrepify with like a level 4 Dagon, man. <laughs> Absolutely rips you open like a Christmas present on Christmas morning. Ten seconds remaining. I realize as it, it gets later in the evening, I get a lot lamer. Five seconds remaining. What's happening? What, what is our problem here? Why are we on Discord making problems? So anyway, Bat Rider getting banned last pick. JC, do do people ban out Bat Rider's last pick? I mean, what the hell's going on? Ten seconds. Hello, hello, JC. Are you here in party? Five seconds remaining. All right, well, we're just going to get Sizzle back on the moment. So SG Primal looking to tap into a bit of their reserve time. We've got Slark coming onto the field with no Bloodseeker ban. So we are going to wonder here. Oh, Tinker, right? So they know they do need a mid as well. And Tinker's a great pusher. So much mobility on him. Uh, and fights around just the creep waves. Gets a lot of map control for you. So we're gonna see what SG Primal decide to pick up. Lots of flex picks coming out here, as we Ten mentioned earlier. So it's hard to kind of see where Primal want to go with this. We've had Razor's mid. Uh, Pugna plays remain. a good mid. Um, is it a support Sven? Are we looking up maybe for a position five here? Is there an offlaner still getting picked up? There's still an Ursa in the pot. Tides, Underlords. A doom. Radiant team pick. Alrighty, so Jakira, so there is a pause five support we were talking about. Um, and decent um, catch with his ice path does have some push. Oh no, okay. No, JC, he's decided to disappear. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Kitten slapped his power out. Man, these kittens are vicious. I don't understand what's their problem. Alrighty, so no blood seeker coming out to uh, counter that slark. So I wonder if that's going to. I uh, wonder if that's going to count against SG Primal at this point. Right, tapping into that reserve time, only a minute left, but they say Puck, man, Puck mid possibly, I do think so, that's very awesome, I haven't seen a Puck getting played in this tournament, I think, at all, decent silence on him, can get a lot of escape, very soft though, so I mean, hell, playing a Puck into like, a Sven and a Chaos Knight seems quite risky, um, you're gonna get blown up quite fast, uh, but yeah, it's not too, too bad. Uh, okie doke. 
looks so looks like everyone's disconnected so we're just gonna run the lobby again in an old pick uh, it would seem it's a bit of problems with these teams right so we're back here in square one I would love to go but yeah just a tiny schmickle of a problem Tiny schmeckle of a problem do 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 Good for you. Sizzle Iguana, I need you, buddy. We need. What's up, man? Hey, you legend. It's a sizzle iguana. What's what's going on? Uh, someone couldn't reconnect to the server. Oh really? Yes. So what does that mean? Uh, nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, join the casters block, please, sir. My my computer is busy spamming out <laughs> at the moment because it's trying to get into the other game for some reason. Alrighty, no oh, problemo. Okay. Alright guys, we're just... Nice, so we're just gonna wait a little bit. Do 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 Is it you with us, friend? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just gonna look for the... No problem. I'm betting schmeckles. Yes, of course we can bet schmeckles. I love betting schmeckles. All right, guys, so we're back with all the action. Sizzly Guana Dicks just <laughs> rocked up. We had to wait for I'm him. I'm back. Ginger Books. Right, so Scruff betting schmeckles, man. I do appreciate him rocking up. Scruff is what? Scruff is gonna bet schmeckles, bro. He's gonna bet schmeckles on this and tell Sizzle he's a Doris. So you're a Doris Where's from Scruff. Scruff. No, why do we coin toss again, you wanks? I put it on all pick. Knobs. Oh, are you just tuning them on stream? Uh, just like. What are these people doing? Don't you come here and mess with my lobby. I have the power. <laughs> All pick. There we go. Awesome sauce. Sweet. Sweet. Like a mother's love. <laughs> so, I have a uh, It was a Pugna. It's... I saw the Pugna pick. And then my kitten... Kitten loved the Pugna. <laughs> Yeah, puck uh, mid. Puck? Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting yeah, one. That, puck, that, uh, I don't know what your two cents on the puck mid is, dude. Yeah, it's a puck now. It's gonna be really. But he's, he's very uh, soft I, later. Like a sea can is gonna surely wreck that puck. That puck, dude. Yeah. 
He's gonna get his little Orphus torn open, dude. <laughs> And a brewmaster. This is complicated. Okay, so it was just the puck that I missed. Yeah, it's pretty much just the puck I think that you did miss. All right. Created Jakiro again. I am gonna say that uh, SG Primal are probably gonna take this one if I had to put some schmeckles. Uh, yes, if you had but to put some schmeckles on this. If that, if the shekels, the goblin shekels on this game, it would go to. Um, SG Primal. I want to put down 20,000 schmeckles. Did you ever watch, uh, did you get into yeah, Rick and Morty? Uh, I've watched that show, yeah. 20,000 schmeckles. But I'm really stupid, so I didn't understand any of the jokes. I know, well, I mean, uh, Scruff, did you call you a Doris, so I get it, don't worry. He breaks us down emotionally, I know. Sorry, who's <laughs> Alrighty, so are we gonna see a Sven supporting a Chaos Knight in the lane? This seems to be a common thing coming up. Matt, or does the Chaos Knight support the Sven? Hmm. I think it's the Sven support. You're a Sven support. <laughs> I don't play Sven support. <laughs> Alright, so my camera's all bugged again, oh. but that's okay. I'll follow the action. Hi, FPS fingers. Welcome to the chat, man. Welcome to the Elsa Amateur Dota tournament. Where Sizzle Iguana takes Dex White. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stun coming out onto the Dazzle. Oh, they get a wreck him. Double stun coming out. You might be in a little spot of trouble there, Fiendish. One more hit. Come on. Nope. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Alrighty, so let's get the show on the road. Alright, so Sumi having quite a decent uh, Invoker game earlier, but he's opting for the Slark. There was no Bloodseeker counter. JC, what do you make of that? Uh, I think the CK can probably deal with the Slark a little bit later. Uh, G Scruff is out of schmeckles. I can't believe it. I don't know how he's out of schmeckles. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Yes. I don't know why he doesn't have enough schmeckles. Scruff sucks. Alright, Scruff, I do apologize for being out of schmeckles. FPS fingers, thanks for the Big follow. Big stun onto the dazzle bottom. Ooh. And that's first blood to the CK. The CK Sven combo is eating. Yep. I think I think the slark's gonna have a hard time. I'm just disconnecting and reconnecting. All right, Please? no problem. All right, so <laughs> slark might possibly have a hard time bottom. I mean, there's this double stun lane with the war cry as well, which is gonna be pretty big coming up from the Sven. Top lane, we've got a brewmaster getting accompanied by a lion, which is not too bad. A uh, Jakira decent in lane support and a carry razor. Um, and obviously, as Sizzle Iguana did mention earlier in the draft, the static link onto Brew is going to be pretty important. Mid lane. Pug taking on the Pug now. I wonder who does win this. Nope, there we go. Can you man fight the Sven? I don't think so. As he hits well, Stormhammer comes on to one more hit. Well, not one more hit, has several more hits, but. Oh. Oh, he might be in a spot of trouble. He does get his leash on to you, friend. And Fiendish getting that last hit on him with his poison touch. Well done, sir. Double D in the river, getting pinged out. Don't know if anyone's going to pick this. Puck, you are quicker than him. I right, can you go for that orb your way in? Boom, shaka laka. <laughs> right, so oh, there we go. Pounce back onto the SK as well, but the CK, but it does get stunned. <laughs> oh, and getting pinged out top there is looking. Oh, my camera is working, boys. We in. Yeah, that's we in. in the action. And top lane. Top lane. Stomp. Top out. lane. Top lane. Okay, top lane. Hype done. Over and done with. 
Maz, what's going on in this mid lane? Who's winning here? Uh, listen, so I mean, obviously, we can see double damage on this Puck. He's level 4 as well. Does have a lot of last hits on this Pug Nazel double. So I suppose you could say... I suppose you could say this Puck's winning the mid lane. But the bottom lane is pretty intense because just that double stun that comes out is maybe too strong. I mean, the, I like this combination. I can tell you at the end of this tournament, we're going to see a lot more maybe of the Sven Chaos Knight coming out. Oh, there we go. Gets away. He's... Pounce is doing pretty well at the moment. Oh, it just stacks you for the Sven, man. It's gonna be too easy for him. Does he have his cleave? Not just yet. And top lane just n not doing too badly. Brewmaster having 15 last hits and raises 12, so they doing pretty all right for themselves. Sven often to get nothing in the bottom lane does have the den denies, however. JC, you still with us, sir? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can. Just Hello? wondering where you at. Oh, sorry, my mic was muted. I was just busy chatting to myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, no, man. Haste on the Pugna, looking to harass. Yeah, I've been, yeah, this Pugna been waiting for your input the whole game, man. I'm giving it to you now, Maz. Oh, there we go. Maz is dead. Yep, Dazzle dead, double stun. So I do like this combination of the Sven and the CK. Yeah, it's super strong. Maybe. This Brumas is doing alright top there. Doing. Well Maybe something you can it's look up to pick game. up tomorrow night or on Thursday. You're giving away strats. No one's. No, we've got our own unique, our un own unique style. That's fine. You do you, boo. Shout out to Two Drunk to Care. Catch us tomorrow. We uh, we're entertaining, we're entertaining bunch. They try their best, but they're just a small town team trying hard. Yeah. <laughs> and Chaos Knight getting 27 last hits, so he's having an alright time bottom. The Sven is not contesting for nothing, he only gets denies. Yeah, so the lands are going alright, so the bottom end is more um, SG Pummel David. Uh, Puck is doing pretty well in the mid lane yeah. against the Puck. Yeah, he's having a sterling time. 31 last hits to 19, 5 denies to 1. So this Puck actually is having a decent time. Got his level 6 up already. And Pugna is looking to rotate. Does have an invis with no mana though. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Is he going to catch Top him? Top lane is with action to that. Top lane is with action to that. Does line. pick him out. Pings him out, should I say. The Jakira walks up. There we go, does get the decrypted file with the live train into an ice path and boom, you're dead. Pop goes the weasel. And TP now for the brewmaster. There is no way to stop him. And there we go, leash pounce coming out onto the bottom. CK. Oh, not enough. Is someone is someone like a, a, a slot big enough to actually man fight the CK? Uh, uh, <laughs> not at this. Ever? Maybe later on. Yeah, if he, I mean, if he... is the CK at like 25 minutes gonna man fight the CK and win? Well, if his ulti is up, then CK is gonna win, but if his ulti is down, Slark has a chance. If he gets the right items, he's gonna need a Silver's Edges game. Kitten? No. Sorry, Misty really wants to be on stream today. That's fine, we think Misty's cute and she can join. Primal vs. Who? It is yeah. Primal taking on Millennium Revolution. Oops, stun coming in, bottom does punch away, is gonna make it out. And fiendish with some decent harass. Right, so Luigi's still not often to 
get any last hits, which is fine because Koala King is gonna get huge, huge, huge. Is this? Huge right, man. He's gonna get huge. He's gonna become a huge. Hit. And uh, he's going to be. Huge. Yes, killing spree for good luck and have fun. Look, Pugna is doing pretty well. They're gonna catch up. To Clark. He does it, man. What's on cooldown? Oh, he's, on he's gonna die. He's not gonna be able to get away. And one Nether Blast is gonna finish him off. Yeah, yeah. double kill. Yeah. Dazzle TP's in. Quite optimistic, <laughs> but they they're playing safe. Just a little slow, maybe on the rotation, however. It's kind of like watching two drunk move around the map. Yo! <laughs> yes, this was hectic. I thought you were friends. Um, I actually... I do have a Dota joke, man. I've got... Oh, lordy. Let's see. Let's bring up a Dota joke very quickly. <laughs> oh, cr On your big notepad <laughs> called Google Chrome. <laughs> no, I've got it saved. Oh crap, how can uh, I look at my desktop now? Okay, so I'll t mid lane this puck is doing really well. Oh crap. The, the counter pick has worked, he can dodge out the nether blast. Dyer's top is under attack. Yeah, that's effective stuff. Top lane, Brewmaster's busy making a go at the Razor. The ice part's out, on mana drain. And disengage. Alright, so guys, our Dota, our Dota dad joke of the evening is what do you call a clockwork with invisibility? Incognito. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so that was our joke just coming out there straight for Elsa online. Alright. I bet you Scruff laughed because Scruff is off. <laughs> you know, Scruff would tell dad jokes if he was a father, but um, yeah, and Reality Rift is picking up Fiendish there, nothing's gonna really come of it. And uh, this just Warcry getting popped, not too much there. Oop, mid lane, In meanwhile, Nether Blast into a life strain. Oh, see, you can all buy, that's the thing, escape on this puck is too much. It's crazy, dude. It's wasn't it a tie? It's a best of one. We can't tie, um, unfortunately, fresh. Not in these best of ones. Alright. So, net worth wise, the Pucker is doing very well. It's quite an even game, I must. Um, even though it's 6 to 1, this Pucker's gotten a lot out of the mid lane. Da -da -dum and the slark is sucking a little bit. I mean, on top lane. Faster, yeah, yeah, static link coming out just like you said does. Oh, promise blue coming out, but into the ice pot does catch it, but it's not going to do jack. And mana drain coming out onto entropy. Is it a. It should be a dead razor. It should be. These bears are surrounding him like a plate of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Nether Blast bottom taking down the stock and um, a good luck have fight is having a real sterling game on this Pugna. I think we're gonna have to ban it out um, because this Pugna in this tournament is getting a bit too strong. Uh, JC, I don't know what you make of Pugna plays these days, but. Right, so this bottom lane is getting pushed down, and this bottom lane has been quite strong the whole game. Sven with the Chaos Nuts being a little bit too much. Um, but it is giving Puck a bit of a solo mid lane. He's level 10 to 9, so he's kind of uh, beating, beating the Puck on that. But here comes in a double rotation. Are they going to get a stun off? Yes, they are. Buff not going to do much as he pops his face ship. Oh, Relative Rift pulls him in. Sven, where you at? Didn't follow up. Oh. Does a does it does a puck beat a cow snipe one on one? Yes he might. JC, I hope you haven't muted your mic again. Hello, I'm back here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mid lane is a Nether Blast coming off there with a laugh drain. 
Pugna is yeah, this Pugna is doing a lot of work. work. Yeah, he is. What do you what do you make of Pugna right now? Is he just strong? Was it a meta change? Is there anything special nah, that I happened to him? I think it's mostly the players who's playing. All right, Aspot well. catch yeah. them. He gets a Nether Blast with a Decrepify, and he gets Mana Drained off, and that's a dead line. Static Lick onto the Brewmaster with a Macro Pie. Should he be a dead man? He's walking around with a Decrepify. Is it gonna happen? Yes, it will. It happen. Nice. So the Pugna didn't do so well in the lane. Um, Puck is threatening the mid tower, but he's made the rotations now. He's still a couple of levels behind, but I mean he's at six for zero. Oh really? There we go. And Saint Pop in his ulti mid lane. Does he have a storm hammer? Doesn't have it out for a couple seconds. Oh, reality rift. Are you gonna get anyone? No, you won't. Alrighty. So you know our top tower is taking a beating. Oh my goodness, mosquitoes flying around you. Yep, and there we go. So, SG Primal managed to push down the tier 1 tower. Meanwhile, their mid is gone as well. Ooh, might meet this line. Could. Lion's walking into a bit of. Does have his level 6 oh. though. Could just burst down the Pugna if he wanted to. We're gonna see how this. Pugna obviously play a bit safe. Yeah, I think he's been, he's been having quite a good game this whole match, and he's already got 1200 gold with two Null Talismans. Yeah, he's top of the net worth all of a sudden. He's managed. I'm also. What the hell? I'm also getting bitten by mosquitoes. Yep. Anyway, uh, Slark is catching up slowly. He's got a bit of space now. He's still far. Yeah, I've got, a, yeah, I've got a free bottom lane and he's got a free tower so he can take bite. But they are addressing that at the moment. Ooh. They realize that the Slark is catching up. Inverse so huge rotation. The Should they catch him? They're going to. Whoop. He's left away, but they're gonna keep up the chase. They've scanned correctly, he's, then there he he's is. He's got a TP, is he gonna use it? Koala King, you missing him, oh. friend. No? Yes? Goodness? Don't walk oh, there, no! Crazy. Oh my word. And they're catching him. <laughs> <laughs> in, They've caught him. Into the ice path. Come on, one more stun. Stormhammer does fetch him in the double with a reality rift. Oh my goodness. That's now you're busy spamming the space created wheel chat option. Uh, if I had it, I don't. You actually can't press one. We can't use any wheel chat as cost. No, no, I'm saying that that's that's what Slock is busy busy spamming. <laughs> that's it. As the, you take the take the top. Uh, they are gonna pressure the tier two bottom. Yeah, so uh, 3k, um, 3k net with Lee going to the side of SG Primal right now, 11 to 2, so things are looking pretty decent for them. Oh, alright, catching them in quite a big dream coil. Oh, there we go, ult again and pop, he does jump in, doesn't have Primal split though, it caught in the ass spot. He gets Shallow Grave, is getting life drained, managing to get out, Slark does jump in, is he going to finish them off? Clean up around. Oh, huge finger oh. comes out, blast down the Jakiro. Big green finger. But him. Um, oh, attacking man. the razor a little bit. And attack... now a fish. Yep, he's. Uh, yeah, misses, misses the, the earth stun. spikes. Touch. Yeah, he's able to get away. Puck might just chase him down. Stark pouncing as well. There's silence. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do too much to him. He manages to get away. Oh, I see the Sven too. Yeah. All right, some scrappy engagements. Still a 3k lead. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. I mean, 12 to 4, so SG Prime is still holding on to their lead right now. Meanwhile, top lane, Pugna getting a free farm and says he's got his Dagon, so we are going to see Sizzle Iguana, some decrepify Dagons. Some whack and splat. Sure, man. Or some spell and hell. I don't know. That is brilliant. I'm gonna use that from now on. Is so much better than what I said. <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> Spell in hell. I mean, I don't know what worked with. Oh, it's, it's He's got oh, it. How about this? He's, he's gonna, gonna decrypt. Do he's there. gonna decrypt a fry. He's gonna decrypt. A What's the spell called? He's gonna decrypt a fry and fry. And meanwhile, Ice Pop catching out. <laughs> Plum promise but does come oh, there we catch go. the dazzle, he's that a dead man and they're gonna fight you. They are jumping in. Huge team fight. Chaos not not popping his ult is done for 30 seconds and he jumps in. Does he catch a razor? No, he might get big barbacks. Big barbacks. Two. Fry. 
Decrepify and Fry, is it gonna blast anyone down? Did use his Dagon. Ooh, huge team fight with the macro fight in the neutral camps. Pugna's almost dead. Oh, Pugna, where you going, friend? Yes, finish him off, Puck. You're gonna do it one more hit. Does manage Pugna's to finish dead. him off. Good job there. Oh. And it's a two for two trade, so pretty decent team fight here. Another super scrappy engagement. I know it felt um, like it, didn't it? It, it really did, Muzz. <laughs> um, the gold don't go in the favor of the Dyer, only slightly though. No, and I mean this this graph kind of going down towards SG Primal side. Meanwhile, the XP gains going to Millennium Revolution. Yeah, they've done a great job at catching up. Oh, so this um, puts... Although the landing phase didn't go too badly for either side. Like no, this puts Sven rocking some mana boots, so he's really... I mean, he's doing damage in the fights, though. Yeah, he's only got 8 CS, so he's having a whale of a time. He's going for the blink. I like that option, because it's going to give them the initiation tool. Kind of can burst oh, the Oh, mid that and pulls in the blind in the reality drift. Should one more hit. Oh, Shallow Grave comes out, does save it. Massive stomp coming out from the Brewmaster. Holy King, bit of a finger coming out. Bam! Green finger. Wax him. Wax and splat. Literally that there. <laughs> Wax and splat and lines accumulated Bell and two. Hull. This Pugna's in trouble. Yeah, Pugna in trouble. Where's he at? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> oh my goodness, you're in deep trouble, friend. I'm gonna try and make the TP, and Mr. Tango takes him and out. And unfortunately, Pugna and had to lose. <laughs> had to lose hard. Had to die hard. It's a new Bruce Willis movie. I've never seen it or heard of it. Uh, bottom lane, the tier 2 is going down. So, a better <coughs> But, yeah, right, things are looking quite... Oh, TP's coming in, Puck. Is he going to be able to tell him when Warcry get him popped on the Sven? Puck doesn't have his dream coil. He up stunned he massive him. face shift there, but ulti get him popped there. Looking to catch the Raze is definitely going to do it. The Raze is a bit trapped at the moment. They realize that that's the target. Oh my goodness, and get in the, real, the wrong static link. Oh my goodness, and that was just too much. Yeah, this is a bit of a chain feed. Yep, oh, right, and you can you TP out there and stop you. Oh, they catch you, and you can't get away, Luigi. Man, oh man. Alrighty. What's going on? So. It's now a 1k lead. That's a great comeback from Millennium Revolution, as they take an awesome fight there. The scrappy engagements favor them because Puck does well in these, like, spread out fight so does the brewmaster he's kind of the king at making these tight little engagements turn into one on one um, which also favors the slark so they they using their draft kind of synergy to their advantage in these scrappy fight it's not doing too well for sg primal who are busy leaking a bit of gold and experience um, and yeah playing pugna with the dagon from behind doesn't sound that good you know, JC, it's not the dog in the fight, but it's the fight in the dog. And the dog fights are banned in attack. the city. <laughs> but I do like the comeback Millennium Re Revolution are coming here. Only a 2k net with lead for the side of SG Primal. And this Groff making a nice massive upswing towards uh, MR. So they're having... Not the best of times, but they're definitely making a comeback here. I mean, Slark, let's see what agility he's gained. A hold plus one. <laughs> Look at this graph. This graph for us analysts is really having a good time. Um, no bell curve, JC. I don't know. You're a stats man. Um, yeah, no bell curve. <laughs> And the Shallow Grave coming out there onto the Dazzle Saves himself, but Reality Rift pulls him in. And unfortunately, that Nether Blast being too late, but that did finish him off. So, poor Dazzle fallen there. If you can catch anyone, may as well be a support. Who's stunned? Super. Oh, I huge! No huge Nether Blast. And that's a whack and splat. Spell Hell. Spell Dyer's Hell. Did he Spell have the neck? I mean, did he have the Decrypifer on him? Dyer's bottom tower. I don't know. I think he did. 
get our get our three players up. Okay, so it's still scrappy at the moment. Twenty three minutes How in now. Two K lead towards the side of SG no <laughs> Um Ooh, dirty screenshot saved. I saved the oh <laughs> save the screenshot. Just make sure that you don't uh leak nudes. <laughs> Ginger boogie nudes. So SG Primal realized that they need hard hours with the pug. Um, they're gonna make a move on to bot. Try, I mean, top tower, try expose Roche. Uh, meanwhile, bottom CK's ulti's pop, trying to kill the Slark and the Puck. Two very elusive heroes. CK is kind of bulky, but they do get the top tower. They are hanging around though. Um, I do think they should get And back, I'm waiting for this blink realize. dagger on the Brewmaster as well, just so you can initiate this team fight. Yeah, the Brew's playing well though. So our support Sven has got a blink dagger, which is really good, like you said earlier. Yeah, the Sven is... The Sven can just blink in and initiate. Um, it's going to be a surprise factor on the puck, which they need, because the CK can't... The puck has time to react to all the CK spells. <clears throat> same with the Jiro spells, same with kind of Pugna and Razor. Sven is kind of the key to tying down the puck. Yeah, but he does drop the phase shift and then unfortunately a storm hammer misses. Yeah, that's why you get really close and you just... <laughs> <laughs> Whack and splat him. Whack. Whack and splat on all over the screen. It's like a... It's Go to your local computer score, buy that stuff that makes your c screen clean again, stick it on. So it's like, nice it's, it's like a mosquito on a good summer's night. Blood everywhere. Alrighty, well, 4 3k net with lead now for SJ Prime, 4k net with lead. So, yeah, things, Get are, the runes. things are looking a little slow, and all the graphs going back towards the side of SJ Primal as they're looking to take Get this the runes. Team tower. Yeah, 25 minute runes up, no one's really contesting. They're just looking for this team fight. Warcry does get popped. Well, there we go. Stun coming out onto Dazzle. In reality, Rift coming out, catches one. Uh, Yule Shift. Yules onto the Sven, gets the ice ball, doesn't catch anyone. Nice a dream call. Huge back ulti. There we go, gets the macro pile with the phasm, <laughs> plasma field. <laughs> Razor is about to fall. Razor falls. Super sloppy fight once again. I know, it feels a bit discoordinated. Who's got the Yules? It's not the Sven. Uh, Puck should have a Yules. Alright, Puck with the Yules, picks up the Sven, doesn't do anything since he's dead and he's not. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Yeah, so they lost the raid, uh, they lost the oh, got another big team oh, fight, they there the CK is man fights and does have his omelette though, let's see how the toggling goes, got a heart as well, oh my goodness, when did he get that? And they're fighting, dual breath on to... Who's got more heart? Uh, the CK has got lots of heart. He's got the most heart. Hectic. He's the little CK that could. <laughs> <laughs> So still just a 4k advantage, they get what they really wanted, which was the tier 2 tower, that, this is now going to expose Roche. Um, Millennial are having a hard time kind of getting out of their side of the map. Yep. They should maybe look to smoke, yeah. which they kind of did in the mid lane. Yeah, they there. kind of, they got a two man smoke off with a dazzle, so I don't know what they expect him to do with that. I think he's going on a bit of a warding mission. Um, Indeed he is, is. Good. he's got two sages moss, I don't know what he's trying to do with that. Man. Double the sage, double the action, I don't know. <laughs> they do say that. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're pinging out Rush on the side of the dire side, which is obviously the next objective they want to get to. They're up to a 6k lead, this Chaos Knight is... is farmed. Um, Puck has kind of stayed on the same net with for quite a while, while the Pugna is kind of itching ahead. Oh, here we go. Bit of action, pops his walker, is jumps in, does get the stun onto the lion, massive Dagon. Man oh man, and whack and splat there for him. That is, yeah, that was heavy. Decrepify Fry, and they're looking to take down the Uncle Roche. Spell hole, they got the pick off, this opens Roche, should be quite an easy one for them. Um, yeah, no, should be pretty easy. And I suspect, what do you think, I mean, it's gonna go to the Chaos Knight maybe? Yeah, it should go to the Chaos Knight. 
Um, because that way he can just stay, go high ground. Yeah, exactly. He's got a heart. He's going to have an Aegis of the Immortal. He's looking to build an Assault Curious as well. So he's getting pretty big. He is big as it is. Razor with the Mental Style as well. And they're... And okay. Unfortunately, yeah, that's slow. Okay, they give it to the Razor. Interesting. I guess he can... Has a bit more poke potential, maybe? And that's fine. I think the Chaos Knight with... Uh, 3600 health isn't really worried about getting revived again. He might not die. I still prefer it on him, but it's okay, I suppose. He's still gonna be the front liner. He will. Um, I think, yeah, Razor, like you said, he's got a little bit of damage on him. He's gonna get static link up. There we go, Re Reality Rift. And gonna have to do something quite fast, though. The Slark isn't really gonna find a place in the site. I don't know what he does. Oh, there we go. Oh. Does he's a tickle. Yeah, just a little tickle. Tickle on the horse's back. All right, there we go. And huge jump scene. Stun coming out of us, pop popping there as well into oh, earth spike. Massive oh, finger does get the ward out. Lion does fall, but they're fighting into a macro fire, which is bad with a dream coil. And no one falling on the side of the SG primal just yet. Stun coming out, catch the desert into reality as well. Done. You're under tower. You're gonna be a dead man. And three fallen with a tower. Not committing the buyback on the lion either. Buyback onto the uh, dazzle. Don't know if it's gonna be enough. So Slark wants to jump in and finish off Luigi. Bam! Gets freaking Dagon down. Next to nothing. Huge. He's the hammer. He didn't have to leave tonight. Double kill there. Fucking stuff. He's gonna survive. He's got a level 5 Dagon with the Crippled Fire, which absolutely wrecks that Slark. He's only got 1400 yeah. health. He pretty much kills all their heroes, even the Brewmaster isn't that tanky. Pretty much, yeah, yeah that's it exactly. Pretty much one Decrypt Fire with a level 5 Dagon, and it actually. Absolutely. Incredible. Yeah, pops you down like no man's business. What's this Pugna? 4, 12 for 3. This man can play Pugna. I like how he did rotations early, he realized the lane, he wasn't getting the most out of it, he wasn't going to be able to hurt the puck. Yeah, exactly, he did rotate nice, got some decent kills. Um, played a good... It was like 5 for 0. Oh, there we go, he gets a doom call and catches two. Isn't going to do an awful lot. And you blow him down, boom! And you thought you were going to die, but you, in fact, got destroyed yourself. And Magpie coming out, pulls back the... Brewmaster and he should be finished off as well. And Razor just manages to still get out. He's got the ages of his monsters. So he's not too stressed. Man, and that stock just getting burst down way too quickly. Yeah, stocks, stocks. Any phase didn't go according. Wow. Okay. Now 15k lead. It's gonna pick up a little bit more. Once the yeah. Goes. So this Pugna just really doing lots of work there. And catching the lion. I don't know if this isn't GG called at this point. Yeah, I guess. This could also be their last game of the tournament. They want to ride it out. Double kill there for Koala King. He's having a decent game on this Chaos Knight. And that's how, yeah, 17k lead. 17k lead. All graphs really pointing down south towards SG Primal. They having a good game. Radiance top tower has fallen. Yeah, so last last kind of few moments. Last kind of yeah. Last stand. There we go. Oh man, finger. Oh there we go, yeah, shame. Poor puck getting smashed there. And bit of mid-action Magpie getting dropped, catching out the line. Nether Blast is gonna do some work and they do finish him off. Does buy back, he's gonna have a last ditch attempt, gets his earth spike out into an ice path. But CK doesn't give a damn, he's trying to take down everyone for himself. All right, spell hell. I am now getting the tier fours. Gonna clear up the mega creep. Sound the alarm. Oh. Oh, there we go. And huge double kill. There's the horn going by the big dominating scream. Gimli. Good luck, Kafir. You think Gimli blows that horn? <laughs> And, then, oh no. and there we go, GG called and SG Primal are going to take this last game of Group 6 tonight. Um, well played, Millennium Revolution. It was a good game to start off with, um, fairly even planning phase, then 
could see that SG Prime will have a game plan. They've practiced maybe this draft a couple of times. Yeah, I um, definitely they like were systematic. it. They were systematic in their approach at taking all the towers, getting the objectives. Uh, they were a little bit scrappy in the mid game. Um, but other than that, a tight, neat little performance by them. Yeah, I, I agree. And I mean, if we check out the scoreboard, Collar King actually only went 7 for 2, so it didn't have to do an awful lot this game, really. Yeah, his net worth was massive, level 20. Yeah, 15k net worth lead. So, I mean, they went 35 kills and only got 7 of them. Um, Pugna getting 17 for 4, so he actually had a real crack of a game. And just at level 5, Dagon JC doing too much work. Yeah, it, it was awesome. <laughs> Provided so much entertainment. I mean, I'm glad your enthusiasm is just bouncing off the walls right now. No. Alright guys, well thank you for joining myself and JC in the last game of this evening. That's group 6 wrapped up and done for. We're going to see in the rest of this week as group 7 and 8. Um, come on, we got a massive grudge match coming up soon. Skit Binner in Group 8 taking on Too Drunk to Care. Very keen to cast that match. Um, and yeah, guys, please. Uh, groups are going to finish fine. off this week. Yeah, that's going to be happening tomorrow. Is it half for 7 or half for 8? Um, I top us 7. Alright, so starting tomorrow Ish. off nice and early with a massive grudge match. You guys don't want to miss that game. That's the biggie. Maybe at half past 8. Alright, we'll get your facts straight. <laughs> I don't know, um, but between those times somewhere out there, good night. Yes, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you, JC. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we just want to thank our main sponsors, Ignite Gaming, for giving us the first and second place prizes of this tournament. Thank you, guys. Uh, have a blessed night and God bless.